Cards TV Men's Tennis Time once again with Rex Akarma. I'm Sean Moth. Thanks for stopping by. And Coach, you're at Wake Forest. It was a quick turnaround. We, we jumped into the do the show. We threw it up online so folks could get a look at it. And we, we could barely do that before you played Wake Forest. It was a 4-3 match again. And unfortunately, uh, you guys were on the wrong side of it. And uh, it, it almost seems like it's kind of come down to, to whose home court you're on uh, nationwide. I mean, you guys have defended Bass Rudd so well, but you've also had a tough time when you go out on the road, and maybe sometimes that's a factor. Absolutely. I mean, I think that's why coaches schedule so hard for uh, whole matches. I mean, at Bass Rudd, uh, an intern of mine was counting. We've won 26 in a row. That's hmm. I knew we were up there, but I didn't know the exact amount. But, but we still could have won, Sean, at um, Wake Forest. Doubles was strong again. Very we good. swept them. Austin Childs is being Austin Childs and taking care of his, his court. Robert Hall is absolutely hot. So there's three points. We just needed to find one somewhere else, and we didn't. I imagine that factors into the frustration, too, when you get that doubles point. In fact, I think your number two has got to win over a ranked team. I mean, you, you really were impressive in doubles. You feel like, okay, I'm throwing six guys out there. I know I'm going to get three points. I mean, right. it, to you, I imagine, with your expectations, it's almost shocking that you guys aren't able to somehow come through. Yeah, it was... Um, it was a long ride home. That, that was a silent <laughs> ban for a while. I think we were all shocked because, as we talked last week, Sean, we felt like momentum was building. We beat two good teams on the road, and we beat this one. Then we have two at home. We felt like we could get some, some significant momentum going into the Big East. But some things uh, you can't control, and hopefully we could get uh, some of those guys uh, perked up again. Certainly there's plenty of time to get momentum as we're two weeks out from the Big East Championship. And it, it's all going to be at Bass Rudd from here on out up into that. It's going to begin on Sunday against Indiana at 2 o'clock. We're going to have a cookout out there. It should be a great time at Bass Rudd Tennis Center for some outdoor tennis and a, uh, a border rival, if you will. And the, the Hoosiers, have, I mean, they're a good team. You guys have somehow figured out a way to kind of have their number of late. So they're going to come in hungry, just as the fans will for the cookout, and, and ready to try to knock off the cards with that win streak. Absolutely. I know they're going to come in with a chip in their shoulder. We've been very fortunate. Sean against them over the last three years and had a lot of success against Indiana. We've always found a way to win, but they're coming into Bass Rudd for the first time with a higher ranking and, and they've got a tremendous amount of momentum. So uh, a win against them is going to be extremely valuable to us. We certainly ask for fan support too. And I, I guess, Rex, as you look at this, it's, it's your last non-conference tune-up that Notre Dame match the following weekend. We'll preview next week, but I guess you can almost look at it like the Big East tournament's going to start that day because that's going to determine who the top seed is most likely and, and really is going to give you a momentum swing into that competition. It, it's kind of, we're used to it with Notre Dame. That's three years in a row where the last match of their regular season calendar and ours uh, determined the number one seed and here we go again and we've got a lot of respect for them but I think we're going to be well prepared with this time that we have and and I think uh, you know some of these guys that haven't come through I really you're going to see them come through this week. We'll look more on the Fighting Irish next week we'll also see how the cards did against the Hoosiers and hopefully a bunch of fans come on out and enjoy that cookout on Sunday. Two o'clock is the beginning of the match at Bass Rudd Tennis Center. For Rex Karma, I'm Sean Moth. Thanks for coming by. We'll talk to you next week right here on Cards TV.